Hello scrapbookers, it's Simone here. I am up with my second layout for the Shimmers education team. And yeah, I created a layout. If you remember my traveler's notebook planner spread that I created last month, I did a rainbow technique where I used a straw for my paint to um, drip down the whole planner page. Um, I really, really loved that. And I actually decided that I would take that idea onto a 12 by 12 layout. Now, what I'm doing right here is I am using all of my shimmers mists that I have to create a rainbow background using acrylic paint. Now, when you use acrylic paint, the white, which I'm using right now, um, it makes your shimmers paints very pastel -y. and I want vibrant colors. So this is just like the base. You could use gesso for that, but I decided I wanted to have um, a colorful background and that's why I chose acrylic, white acrylic paint as my uh, medium of choice. And then I just added colors to the acrylic and created this partial background. So then I went back after this was dried and added my mists using a paintbrush to the top of the colorful background and then just held my paper vertically or upright so that the paint was able to drip down. So I actually basically had a similar effect as with my straw when I was um, blowing my paint across the paper. I did the same thing or a similar thing with the paint that I was dripping down from the top. And since I don't have all the colors of the rainbow yet, um, I just mixed the colors and it worked really, really well. And you can see where the paint runs down the page over the acrylic. It is It runs very easily because it is a different texture than the paper. But when it gets off the colored background, the acrylic, the paint runs very, runs, runs much slower and also feathers out. And it, even though I don't like this to happen when I do watercolors and also when I use uh, an ink with a pen, I don't like feathering, but for this background, it looked amazing. I have a close up later on where I, I can I will show this to you and I really, really love how the, the colors feather out and it just looks so, so pretty. Sometimes some of the colors um, ran into each other, which I didn't like, but I was I could have uh, stopped this from happening if I would have been able to Oops, oops, did you see my face? I was so annoyed. I don't know what I did wrong, but when I was, was rolling my, um, I think it was the Vibes Jenny B Blue, some, somehow uh, the color spilled out of the top of the paint. And yeah, I got drips over there. But I decided not to start over. I just decided to embrace those splatters there and see how I could incorporate them into my layout. And it worked okay they it would have been okay if they didn't work if they hadn't been there but they don't really interfere with the whole design yeah so i have been mixing my colors and since um you can't just mix all of them in one bin i every time i started a new color i you chose a new of the new what is this little thing thingy there to add my paint and yeah, I really love how those colors turned out. Some of them are vibes, some most of them are coloring. So the, the beginning of the color wheel is um, unshimmery and the rest, the right side of the page is mostly shimmery. And now I'm showing you the products that I'm using. I purchased a hip kit, the February 2018 hip kit, and that paper here from the Flourish line is from there. And then I used a free font from the Paper Issues store 
this one here and cut a part of my title from it. I decided my title to be I only have eyes for you. And I, um, yeah, this is an outline font. And so I am going to back the cut out letters with paper scraps that are in the same color scheme as the background. And then I also used that black paper to back my photo. However, I didn't show this to you right now because I am going to change the photo. It's too big for the rest of the layout. So I went into my scrap bin. I have one bin where I put in all of the cut in papers. I have one bin where I have all of my fully intact 12 by 12 papers and one where I use, where I store all of the, yeah already cut in papers. And now I am going to back each one of those letters with a different color of patterned paper. And I am using mostly papers that I received in Coco Daisy Kits because that is the kit club that I have been subscribing for a while now. So most of these I received in um, Coco Daisy kits. And then this, what I just showed to you, was a cut file from the cut shop. And I, and here, <laughs> just laugh with me <laughs> one second. I tried to wrap this rub on on with the backing paper on and it didn't work. And I was like, oh, what happened here? Those are new. So I'm using my scrap bin for backing the cut file, but I chose, deliberately chose the pink Paisley Wild Child Collection to embellish the layout. It is a very colorful, boyish collection. It has lots of the colors, well, not lots of the colors, as I noticed later on, that are represented in the rainbow. And I thought, what, where, if not on this funny layout, would I be able to use uh, dogs with glasses, cats with glasses, and all of those fun elements that well, as even though I have three boys, are still hard to use for me. Um, because I don't have a, a cat, I don't have a dog, and my kids are... I often scrapbook stories and not those fun, cutesy photos like this one here, where these just don't feel right. So there are... Um, bugs on there, there is a skateboard, and I had the die cut pack, I had the rub-ons, I had the stickers, and I had the puffy stickers, and I put them all out for this layout, and yeah, looked, f tried to match the embellishment with the colors in the background. And then I started backing my cut file with um, foam to raise the title a bit more and then I decided no I do not like the way this square photo looks on this very organic layout and so I decide I'm going to fuzzy cut. If you've watched my my videos before you know that first of all I'm not one of those scrapbookers who scrapped when fuzzy cutting um, your photos into really strange shapes was a thing. So I'm not burned from that experience. And I really, especially with those mixed media layouts and those um, organic forms and shapes, sometimes it just doesn't make sense to me to bring this boxy rectangular or square shape onto the layout where it actually would look a lot better when the photo, um, yeah, I am, uh, it doesn't really fit into the background better, but yeah, it does in in some kind, some way. Sorry for stumbling over my own words. And then I decide I'm just going to stick this down. I added white cardstock behind the photo for it to stand out a bit more where it was on top of the colored rainbow. And then also some part of the pa uh, black pattern paper. And, but the only thing that I really don't like is 
the way the head is cut off and that is just the way I took the photo um, but here it looks really strange because it's just this really it's an organic shape it's fuzzy cut but the head is just cut off straight hmm, doesn't make sense so I leave it and I'm going back to attaching and finalizing the layout I decide to use those hearts as part of the um, design and I actually backed them some of them also with some pattern paper and I really like that it's not a black uh, so that they don't stand out as much as the the title that has this black outline but it's a gray or actually it's gray dots on cream and yeah and so I decided that I would um, add a green backed heart there there was this really strange gap at the bottom and then I'm going to add some more die cuts there just to create some clusters but I'm actually making sure that they don't overpower the title because the title is what makes this layout special and so everything else has to be um, stand behind that and now I'm using my triangle thing uh, to get my title straight and I'm just using my white acrylic paint as a weight to uh, put it down onto the background paper because it actually is crinkled a lot and the funny and I had this made you look I think it says made you look and it would have been great because ah but it just didn't make sense and it didn't look right there so I am playing around with this for a long time the wild child stickers had a really really thick white outline which just didn't look right on this when I wanted the embellishments to blend into the background and then I have this really big fat line in the background nah I didn't like it so I had to fuzzy cut it out I usually don't mind white outlines around stickers I'm not that um, yeah fuzzy when it comes to th these things but here it actually really bothered me and so I decided okay I have a heart on the right left side of the photo and I'm going to add one pink pink backed heart to the right side which actually helps me bring in pink embellishments because yeah in a boy line there is not a lot of pink which to me doesn't make sense I have one son who really loves pink he would have bought softball cleats in pink if he if he had found the right size which I would have yeah and it's really strange to say that but there is still people laughing about kids who wear pink boys who wear pink uh, shoes and pink things and yeah still playing with that sticker I brought in this cardstock sticker that said yep it was green it fit up there because it just again there the dog made this really strange hole right between the dog and the photo and so this just bridged the gap a little bit more now I'm looking for more embellishments I'm looking for um, colors that match and help bring out that yeah make the layout shine even more I probably could have stopped here but I really think also the variety of the sizes of all of the different uh, embellishments really make sense and then I add this yellow puffy sticker that says uh, I don't know uh, it says something and every time one of my sons read the title they read the word with with it so they read I only have blank eyes for you and I'm like oh, no it's not that that's not what it is there for it's just yellow it's it's in there because it's yellow and then yay me I love how those puffy stickers look on the O isn't that isn't that just the best doesn't this just make the layout like up the layout even five grades more yeah so I think I'm done with embellish embellishing the layout I'm going to um, 
journal, which I don't really have a lot to say about this. This is one of the rare occasions where I don't really have a story. It, I just have this fun, cute photo of my son. Off camera, I will add some of those hearts without backing to the top of the photo. And I will also add a black stripe to the top of the layout. I really think it makes it complete. The hearts really help the top of the head not look so cut off <laughs> like an open head like oops let's get out the brains and here you can see a close-up of the full layout this is what it looks like now and yeah let's have a look at the close-ups i really love how this turned out i will add all the colorings and shimmerings i used on this project in the description box below if you're going to purchase in the shimmer store don't forget to add my name on checkout because you will receive a little surprise gift from them Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Until then, bye!